In this overview, we'll show you the highlights of quota planning. First, we'll identify the benefits quota planning provides, and then explore key capabilities in a sample application. Although it should be a collaborative and purely data-driven process, 40% of executives rely on instinct when setting quota targets. Skewed, instinctive targets can cause two problems. Either many sales reps don't meet their target, in fact, a recent study indicates overly aggressive quotas prevent upwards of 60% of reps from reaching their targets, or reps easily meet targets, causing large commission payouts. Sales organizations may struggle to set actionable, realistic quotas to motivate and retain top talent while driving sales, quickly change quotas and territories to respond to unexpected market conditions and dynamics, and sever reliance on error-prone and inefficient spreadsheet-based processes to handle sales activities. Sales organizations often need more accurate forecasting and better modeling and analysis to evaluate different quota planning scenarios to better drive sales and the business. Sales planning addresses these challenges to optimize sales performance management. Quota planning is an extensible, reliable way to set and analyze data-driven, intelligent quotas using best practice methodologies and by engaging key participants, such as sales operations, sales management, generalist sales, and specialist sales. With quota planning, you can unify, structure, and manage the quota planning and allocation processes, improve modeling and analysis, and drive sales while motivating and rewarding top talent. Quota planning provides three best practice methodologies. Top-down centralized, where an overall quota target, based on forecast data, is allocated down to the lowest level in the hierarchy. Top-down waterfall, where an overall target is allocated step-by-step step through each level in the hierarchy, so regional or business sales leaders can set and manage quotas at their level. And bottom-up, so sales reps can propose quotas for their accounts, that they collaboratively review and adjust with their managers. You can perform bottom-up planning after top-down planning. Also provided are quota optimization tools, such as organization-wide padding, so you can modify quotas in anticipation of known or possible risks, three types of adjustments, product to modify quotas to plan for portfolio changes, account to modify quotas if historical data doesn't reflect customer potential, and seasonality and period to reflect customer and sales trends, and primary and overlay targets by territory or hierarchy to manage core targets and targets for supporting teams. For enhanced modeling and analysis, use the predictive, time series statistic modeling and what-if analysis to compare scenarios, and analytics such as dashboards to support planning, attainment, and to measure sales performance. To get started, have an administrator load last year's bookings and actuals. Then set targets based on a year-over-year -year growth rate using predictive planning values or the result of a scenario analysis. Next, push targets and allocate quotas for your planning method. Top-down to allocate downwards across the organization. Top-down waterfall to allocate downwards level by level. Or bottom-up if sales reps submit quotas to their managers that are reviewed, adjusted, and then aggregated upwards. Then pad and adjust quotas by account, customer, and seasonality, and compare plans to finalize your target quotas. Let's explore quota planning in a sample application. To get started, load, calculate, and adjust last year's bookings and average bookings per representative to specify year-over-year -year growth rate for all reps and territories. You can also specify targets by running a prediction and using the statistics-based results or using the results of a scenario analysis. Sales managers then allocate targets across their teams or territories using a planning method. We'll explore top-down centralized and bottom-up. In top-down, allocations are pushed from the highest to the lowest level of the hierarchy where they are aggregated. Then targets can be adjusted for individual sales reps by product, by account level, or by seasonality and period to include consumer and sales trends and holiday seasons. In bottom-up, sales reps review the final top-down quota and commit to targets that they propose for their accounts. Managers review the targets and can adjust them by account, product, seasonality, and period. Use the provided dashboards at any time to analyze your quota plans, such as comparing the bottom-up and top-down plans, and to identify final quotas. 
In this overview, we showed you the highlights of quota planning. To learn more, visit cloud.oracle.com. <laughs>